everybody. Welcome to the Will It Boot series at Kursoft Computer Company. Let's just jump right in, shall we? So first off, what are we working with? This is an HP Elite Book 2760P. All right. Quick look over. Let's first go to the outside. Vinyl sticker. Uh, it's got a little dig there. It's cosmetics. Got some heavy scratching. Um, this little flip out doodad. I've never really understood what it was for, and I never looked it up either. I don't get these very often, so it's really not a concern of mine. Uh, the stylus is missing. No bottom cover. Two gigs of RAM. Does have a hard drive, no battery. It's missing a rubber foot. It doesn't lock. All right, on to the inside. Doesn't move this way. See, these rotate. All right, see that? That's pretty cool. Right, you flip it around into a tablet, if need be. Webcam, light, reading, uh, keyboard light. A little bit of scratching on the digitizer. And the digit looks just like the digitizer is just a crack. We'll know if it turns on, if it's just a digitizer or not. Keyboard looks really nice. That's a nice little keyboard. Not much of it. I really don't see any finger wear except on the, the two uh, buttons here. Palm rest, a little bit of cleaning. Quite a bit of finger wear on the uh, mouse buttons. Uh, the trackpad is on the touchpad is it's got finger wear but it looks like it's pretty even almost like they were using the whole thing maybe they sat here and was just piddling around with it I don't know but pretty cosmetically seen better days a little dusty definitely needs to be washed and uh, if we decide to keep it well now depending on what even either or depending on whether we keep it or not we are going to service it so um and what i mean is we're going to tear it all down i'll make a video on that how to tear it down and how we clean things here poor air everything looks good inside the foam jack there rj45 on the back power input on the back VGA output. All right. A little loose. I know those are supposed to be a little bit tighter. I believe there is like a, a nut on the bottom of this. Probably just that, and maybe the hinge. I will definitely repair that either way. So the next person, all they got to do is if they got the parts. Um, and we obviously stand by our work, so another eBay seller decides, hey, you're all right, get that there. All they got to do is add their parts, double check our work, and move it on down their line, make a little money. So that's the hope. All right, and that's the idea. If it goes that way, that's how we do it. If we keep it. Obviously, we buy the parts we need and fix what we need to and service it and on eBay it goes and hopefully have a happy customer. This is a bit dated <clears throat> for sure. Um, not sure what the release date is on this. If I had my computer in front of me, I'd be able to look that up for you. But <clears throat> So, as we're all here for, <laughs> will it boot? Don't know, but I have an AC adapter right here, and uh, we shall see. In the back, plug it in, give it some juice. Let me plug it in here. Well, it helps if we plug in the AC adapter. You're gonna shake for a moment. Okay. Whoa, what do we got? Something something just popped up on the screen. Am I seeing stuff? I think I'm seeing stuff, but maybe not. Oh, look at that! All right. Okay, the CMOS checksum is invalid. The CMOS will be reset <clears throat> to the default 
configuration and will be rebooted. Please check your BIOS setup options to see if it if they change. Okay. Well, just reboot yourself or shut off. What'd you do? Oh, rebooted itself. Sometimes things just shut off. We don't know the condition. So, what is it trying to do? Hello. And we wait. Linux Mint. What? Linux Mint. Retro Pi. So, where do we go from here? It boots. That's cool. Um, well, that answers that question. That was fun. <laughs>